How's it going everyone? Today's topic is Bunker E15, Master Law Sector, dealing with champions of Barrier and Overload with a threat of Void. We're going to be using an Arc Titan, as Arc Arcs does a lot of, uh, it actually works out really well here with our grenade spams, keep everything jolted, and you know, the Overload champions are really dangerous here. So, Thunder Crash uh, for big damage as you need to, you can actually run Fist of Havoc if you'd like. I always feel like getting out of a sick situation is nice with Thunder Crash. You can always launch away and then come back in if you need to. Any barrier you want, any movement you want, any punch you want. Uh, I would say Pulse Grenade was going to work really well with Armamentarium and Touch of Thunder for those Ionic, trace, uh, ionic Traces. As we're going to be able to Jolting Targets, we'll be able to get more Ionic Traces with Spark of Ions, Jolt of Shock, longer durations with Magnitude, and then we'll get 25% damage resist when we're surrounded. Uh, you can optionally switch this one out if you'd like for Spark of Amplitude this uh, this run, as there's not a lot of mobs that'll surround you. Um, it's, you usually have like the big champion that's just going to mess you up in a certain situation, so be careful for that. So Knockout will give us um, health regen and keep us amplified. It's, it's a nice benefit. Arbalist is really helpful here for taking out the going shooting through the shield of the last boss. Uh, it does like 20k damage or something-ish. Uh, per hit if you hit a headshot on the boss through the shield um, So you don't have to worry about it. You just do whatever you need to so uh, it's pretty nice uh, Word of Crota does really good for the void shields. And it's also the hand cannons really nice this season Takes care of overloads along with our machine gun will take care of overloads uh, High resilience keep us alive uh, high discipline for our grenade spam as our grenades are our main focus with armor materium giving us a second grenade charge Two matches to assets, one arc siphon as we're using an arc weapon primarily for ad clear. Uh, we will be using the hand of Crota, but that's for kind of the champions or some ad clear, but nothing too crazy. Uh, firepower, two grenade kickstarts. I would recommend switching these two resist mods if you can uh, to two voids and then uh, one harmonic. Um, if you want to, you can keep, um, you can do one void and stack on stacks. I like stacks on stacks, it isn't bad. Uh, but I would say at least probably like one void, one arc, one void, or two void. Um, I like doing charged up, so I'm going to keep that on there. Uh, but you can run two void here and then one arc or one fire, whatever you'd like to do. Or actually, probably arc, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to use charged up as I like the extra stacks. But I'm going to do one of each for that damage resist. So everything else is to keep our abilities cycling down here. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're using proximity ward for our finishers so we don't die. And then for our build, we're making sure we have elemental ward for arc because we want those elemental munitions. And then monochromatic to pair with uh, overload really well because we have a lot of consistent arc damage um, with our grenades and then also be able to stand uh, stun overloads. So let's get right into it. Should be a quick run. Appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you want to see any different builds, armor, exotic pieces, whatever questions you have. I'm helping you assist and I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, there we go. Gotta take this out real quick. Boom. Look at that mob in a second as we need to. This weapon is insane. Look at that. Oh. You can have that. Boom. Grenade in the middle, shoot the far ones. Speeds up your time a little bit if you're you know, going for a little faster speed runs. There actually is ways to probably speed all these up if you wanted to do speed run all of them, but. Trying to get those flawless kills, those flawless clears. Nice orb. Orbs, I would say pick up as many orbs as you can, no matter if like, what the type, type they are, because you want those, uh, you know, pick up. Oh, not you know, pick up. So you want those uh, ammo drops? There we are. Oh. You one shot this. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Wasted two shots of ammo. There we are. That should be a good amount of ammo for us. Throw this on the turret first, as that's the biggest threat. The barriers don't do much to you. The, th the turret will mess you up, though. You can focus everything else besides the barrier champions, as you can get them whenever you'd like. They're not too bad. And then there we go. 
Should be able to get this guy up. There's his animation. Getting pushed. All the ammo we can need, and we move on. Oh, actually, I need more heavy ammo. But we're still okay. I'm just going to have to use my uh, primary weapon for a lot of this, just to make sure I don't get myself in a bad spot uh, with ammo later on, because the overloads are rough here. Okay, so let's make sure we don't get hit in the back. Take out every red bar we can, and then watch the wyvern. Oh, we're gonna run down here. Just don't wanna put ourselves in a bad spot. It's in finisher mode? Yeah, I think so. Boom. Are we back in a good position? Reload all your weapons if you need to. Really, would really, it really helps to actually. If you feel like this weapon isn't doing it much for you, um, it's probably because you're not using a using it on the like the right mod. Like I, I would say, like the minor spec mod really makes a difference for this weapon, which is uh, good and bad, I guess. It should be strong without it, but I guess it would be really busted if it didn't need it. Right? Unlike a you know heavy weapon where you can just use it on anything and it just melts it. So. You can, however, uh, use your arbalist to shoot through the wall. Ugh. You're not. Well, I'm not taking shots from the boss. Yes, yeah, so you can just shoot through the walls as you need to. Doesn't matter. Just you can hit headshots if you preferred. If not, it's still okay. Ooh. Okay, now we're gonna have the overload champion. Oh, actually, you got stunned. Good. Uh, I would usually rocket into the second one or the third one, uh, but with the boss being there, it might be really bad for me, and I'm gonna run away, actually. Uh, I think, oh, there you are. There you go, I didn't want to be on the ground because they, they can hit you a little easier on the ground. Their splash damage. So I try to go in the air if it's ever, oh no! See if I can keep this guy stunned and not take as much damage as I. Oh, no, I'm gonna be in a bad spot. I'm gonna be in a bad spot. Yeah. There we are. So let's just. No, don't heal. I wasn't ready. There we are. Now we should be a little bit better. Don't want this guy healing, right? All we think is we don't want him healing. There we are. Now we're good. Ooh. I have no ammo. I do have my primary weapon, which is unlimited ammo, which will be good still. If you notice, this guy's health is just still going down. Uh, I want to go grab the... Let's see if I can get a headshot. Okay, we're going to have another... We're going to have one more overload champion, so you got to be prepared for it. Oh, I can already spawn, so let's run away. We gotta find the overload champion before he finds us. He should be on this right side, I believe. Nope. Okay. Oh, there he is. We're throwing a grenade here halfway through just so we can make sure he stays jolted, doesn't go anywhere. Hopefully. Uh, let's just do this. Two shots. We'll finish it with heavy. Yeah, now we're in a good spot. Now we just gotta not die to boss. So just be very careful when you hit him with all the headshots, because he will get pissed off. There we are. All sweet. Arbalist does make a huge difference here. Or yeah, it goes to the anti-barrier and does a lot of damage. Our language, not bad. 
Seven minutes, seven minutes, two seconds. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Check out my other uh, subclasses and class builds of this Lost Sector and all other Lost Sectors on my channel. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.